Welcome back to The Infected. You see, I did a few things off camera. I went and got some stones and made some stone crates for that. I have this running because I have my planter boxes inside so that the uh, cold winter air won't stop them from growing. Head out here. I also uh, refilled my firewood, refilled planks, refilled my sticks. Built a few more log racks, got them refilled uh, last time we were building over there, and that ate a bunch of that up. I built some more crates to put on this cart because I, we, are going to be going up to this northern central town here today, and we're going to hopefully get some more technologies. The only one I, the only two I currently have are the chemistry table and the advanced workbench. And I do want to get some other technologies going and hopefully um, turn this into, you know, well, advance along. You can see here it took out most of the trees to get that done. It did take two days. I ended up... Sorry. I ended up rebuilding a bunch of the spike traps because the Vambies were attacking during that time. Um, it's funny how much, how many resources get used up as you're trying to build up resources. I am going to head off to that, uh, that village up there and I will bring you guys back once I get there, just so you don't have to be bored with it. Wouldn't you know it just as I leave the gate, blizzard kicks up. So this is going to be an interesting journey. I'm not sure how well we're going to make it with this blizzard going. I'm going to try and get there as quick as I can. So this ought to keep it kind of interesting. Uh, I did make the mistake of leaving my little planter boxes out when winter came in. And because of that, my corn... I'm sorry, my cucumber plant got destroyed... So I don't have cucumber seeds at the moment. So I do have to wait till spring comes back around so that I can get that going again. That's going to be a pain in the butt. All right. Don't have to worry about bears because it's winter. I have heard wolves in the area. Um, I don't know how prevalent they are or uh, how big their aggro range is. have to put down that. I hope I have... did my typical not planning very well. And unfortunately, that's so common. It's just comical. Um... I think I was hoping we'll find some food when we get to the village. That's at least the story I'm going to stick with. Um, this week's been kind of interesting here at home. Lots of school, lots of studying. That's always a ongoing thing. I found uh, it's harder to study than I remember it being in the past. Anyway, the only reason I'm dragging you guys along is because this blizzard kicked up and, well, it looks like I might not make it because I don't have more food to bring. There is at least supposed to be a cave. I don't know how those translate to warmth. I would imagine not well. You know what? I'm going to stop being indecisive and we're going to head straight to that village as best I can. I'm sure there's a ton of people reminding me or telling me at this point that uh, this was a dumb way to go. Should not have kept going. And I, believe it or don't, think you're right. I probably should have gone straight back to the house and just waited it out, but I am impatient and probably a little dense. I'm hoping there's a little bit of food. 
Good, I still have my cart with me. Sometimes you gotta wonder. I'm hoping I can at least get a first aid kit when we get there. Undo some of this damage I'm suffering for being out in the nasty cold. I'll bet I die before we get there if this blizzard keeps up. Of course, there's nothing to hunt. Yeah, I hear you, dude. I'm worried about it, too. I just don't have much I can do about it from right here. even really close. This is such a pain. Well, and now the blizzard ends. Because that's just how this works. So not fun. I do have my winter coat and winter pants on, but it doesn't seem to be affecting much. Or at least I'm not warming up. I'm reassured that I have my cart. I can hear the cart coming with me. Otherwise, this would be a very disturbing and non-productive trip. So here we are at the village. Just barely made it through that blizzard. Probably should have planned that better. Brought more food, you know. Things you should have, could have, would have planned against, but didn't. Trying to keep my eyes out for more Vambies. I'm notoriously bad at spotting them. So we'll leave our cart there. Get hit in the head with this door. Uh, potato. That's getting eaten before I move. Ooh, first aid kit. First thing in the door. I do need cloth. I'm really hoping to get Kevlar so I can make the um, construction hat with the light in it. That would be just way too nice to have happen. Do need more cloth. I want to get a uh, cowboy hat for sun resistance. I really feel it in the summer. I don't need bones. I've got... Oh, I forgot. I also made... Uh, bone arrows, so now I, and since I made my quiver, uh, at least last episode, if not, uh, the one before that, I can now, at least, shoot things should I need to. So I'm just gonna mark the places I have, or the houses I've been in. I typically leave the doors open. But I've been finding that I don't see it until I've basically walked back up to it anyway, which uh, that just doesn't save me any time. I don't think I found much. The mechanical part, yeah, those are handy. And I tend to be rather like a uh, homeless person in how I bring my everything I own with me. 
no matter how far I'm moving. I don't really need rope, but I'm taking rope because, well, it never hurts to have it. More Kevlar, that's awesome. Onions. I really would like some cucumber seeds, especially with it being winter. I don't really need the bone shards, but yeah, I still feel a little pack radish. Well, hello there, Miss Vamby. Hello, lady. I've been watching a lot of uh, reactors on YouTube. Uh, watch the Princess Bride for the first time. That is such a funny movie. Enjoy it immensely. And of course you realize you I've been quoting Inigo Montoya wrong most of the time. Because it is not that word you keep using. Anyway, misquoting him. Now I'm going to do it again because I can't think. Nice to get some glass. I don't have enough. Ooh, another first aid kit. I think the game's trying to tell me something. At least what's coming for me, right? Um, I don't have a greenhouse yet, so that's why I do not need those. Why did I pick those up? I don't even want those. That's why I had to move the planters inside. I just haven't had... It's so early game, I don't have the resources to put any of that to get cucumber seeds. Yay! I can get my veggie canned veggies back. Okay, so this is the site I came in. I have not been to that house over there. Yes, I have. I haven't been to this house. I don't know if it changed my direction or if in my haste the game paused for, or didn't pause, but uh, lagged for a second. Not the baked potato, that's such a good thing. Electrical parts. <gasps> Battery, that's nice. Don't want the bone. Potato sprout. I don't really want fish oil, but I think I now I can't even pick it up. So that's less of a problem now. But we do have batteries. We don't have anything to charge them with. Coal, electrical, electrical, nice. Can't do anything with those yet. But it's coming. I know this. I've seen me build things. On occasion, I do things useful. I mean, it's not like you can count on it, but it happens. Place it. Thank you. So let's, so I've done this little group. I need to go off to the right and get this group of houses. I love that the developer added that zoom in on the map. Oh, I can't imagine. And having started playing the game after... Uh, I think 12.3 was in when I started, so it's fairly recent. Uh, that zoom capability has pretty much always been there. Um, I have enjoyed watching other people play the game. Take some clay soil, more glass...
nails. And it is hotter than the hubs of hell here tonight. So I had to turn off my fan. Otherwise, all you would hear is the fan and not me. And some people may appreciate that, but it does short circuit the point of the channel. Certainly of the video. But that's summer in Colorado. Oil pump? I don't need that yet, though. I mean, it's nice to have it. Those are not the technologies I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for the loom so I can build a bigger backpack. But we did get... wondering where dude was when he started yelling. We got the batteries and the oil pump. Those are going to be very important and very nice to have. They simply are not yet as useful as I would like. I'm just trying to figure out which way I need to go. And it looks like it is this way. I don't know what's causing the game to lag. I don't know if it's the snow. It's irritating for me. I'm sure it's irritating for you. We have both technologies, so we know we don't have to look for those. However, there are still supplies in here. Uh, I don't want to take that. It doesn't come up. I say I don't want to take something, and then I take bark chips. Oh, my God. of all the things to take that have no use or have very little value. I will take corn seeds because dumb things happen. Keep hoping that you know, somehow the code messed up and put three technologies in there. But that really wouldn't work out, so. I do not want bark chips. I don't know how to turn that into a Dr. Seuss rhyme, but I don't want bark chips. Biofuel. I want biofuel. Biofuel is friendly. Hoping... I can get myself organized enough to get um, some extractors put up so I can get uh, aluminum, cobalt, you know, the other metals, just get some more stones flowing in because it turns out that is a just going out and breaking rocks is effective but fairly slow um i really want to get power so that i can get the rock grinder because that thing goes nuts making not just uh iron fragments but sand and it's really the iron fragments i'm after to make the uh, to get the extractors going. But I should, I hope, be able to, once I get back to my base, put together... almost need to go straight behind me. Um, sorry, as usual, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I'm just not that smart. 
All right, Bambi out here. Drop the cart. We'll go pokey stick, dude. It was good to back up for you, but... Uh, fuzzy lumpkins, damn it. Um, the important part is he didn't take even more hit points away. Which he very well could have. But getting those other medals is actually going to be a very big deal. So getting the extractors up and running. First I gotta get everything else put together. Ooh, another oil can. I have not had, I don't know if the game is sophisticated enough to have the um, oil burn at a different rate than biofuel. I hope it does. I wish it did. I will always think it should. I don't know if, well, <laughs> I'm basically talking to myself here. But um, if anybody ever sees this and has contact with the developer, I appreciate the fact that there's so much bootstrapping. You have to get, kind of claw your stuff together for a minute before you can get to the next advanced thing. It's fun. It's part of the game. It's a point of the game. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. But I think that's, that's more my problem than theirs. And it's part of why I enjoy this so much, is it's not just a dead giveaway. Anyway, uh, got a pharmacology test coming up next week. Well, next week as I'm filming. I'm hoping to do better than the last test. I passed. Um, I even passed according to our wonky grading system. Okay, well, what I didn't do, that I should have did, let's see how much of this stuff can fit in here. So I've got a little bit of a um, pad grade-wise, but it's never a good idea to plan on using that pad up because and that's right when it'll go away. say I think I saw somebody moving out here let's go pokey stick them man I was not an effective pokey sticker oh bandage time because I'm so bad at the pokey stick It is, in fact, I checked, illegal to be a Bambi. So it's okay if you want to, you know, pokey stick them. They don't have any sort of protections, I checked. You don't even have to worry about your conscience getting at you that way. Plastic, yay. I don't have a use for it at the moment, but I have no doubt that I will. Mechanical parts. I can make them, but it's still better to get them free. Let's see what this upstairs has. Bandage. Ah, fish oil. I'm going to pick it up, but I'm putting it right back down. So at least the game doesn't still think it's there. Okay. 
Okay, it's only 4.30. Ooh, blizzard. Damn it. So here's a stupid experiment I'll bet nobody's ever run. Can you, in fact... No, you cannot. All right, well, the good news is... I do have a first aid kit or three. Okay, completely healed, so I've got time before I need it. That's even better. So I am... Uh, there. I've been to that one, so I need to go to the other side. Okay, we're going to use this. Damn it! Game lagged. Right as I was trying to use it. Well, that's enough to piss off the Pope. And that's the wrong direction. I want to go this way. And of course the houses, despite them being houses, offer no protection from the blizzard. is truly unfortunate and I think not quite fair. I mean this is better than the time I got caught in a house at night when I did not have a light. If you want to have a boring time sit there Staring literally at nothing for 45 or for however long night lasts. That's just irritating. I mean, beyond comprehension. Well, at least beyond my comprehension. blizzard is stopping. I still don't think it's fair that we had a blizzard. But I don't guess I get to actually make that decision. Well, at least there's a little something to eat. We're still freezing, and that kind of sucks. I don't know if you were quick at, with the eye to see that I had made or put down the blueprint for the, the coal heater. Um, did not have the materials to build it, and I wanted to... Uh, wait till I built it uh, while we're, you know, during an episode. Hopefully I survive long enough to get that to happen. Wouldn't that be nice?
And honestly, I do believe that is the entirety of this village. I got my two techs, even if they were not the two that I had desired. And with that, with my 50 hit points, I'm going to be dragging my little happy butt back home. So I will see you guys there. And looks like we're back to the house. Yep, there we are. Or I should say, there it is. Now just get all of my groceries put away. Find out how bad the place burned down while I was gone. Wasn't the two technologies I was really hoping for. Like I said, I really wanted the loom. Um, I was hoping for either the solar panels or the wind turbines. Primarily just because, well, I want power so I can do so much more. But such is life. And we did get enough Kevlar. I think we'll be I'll be able to make the uh, flashlight helmet. And that will be nice. Oh, and I made some pumpkin lights because well it was pitch black. Oh, cool. That didn't go too bad at all. Oh, I have no water in there. So I don't know if everybody's aware of this, but if there's snow on the ground, you can just scoop it up with your flask and you have dirty water. Not that button. That button. Not doing that. Doing that. I promise. I have played this game before. I mean, there's there's a few episodes of me trying to scrabble through it. Now I need to check. Six Kevlar, three copper. Do I have a copper ingot? I don't know if I have any copper. I don't have any copper. Oh, you bastards. That's just not funny. Well, okay, it's not funny to me. And I have a few pieces of coal, though not much. I have and yes I just left that running so that my crops here would continue to grow I have corn seed which is good more importantly I did pick up a cucumber seed so yes now you get to watch the joys of domestic living, putting the groceries away. Oh, I already had some plastic. That's good. A little more biofuel. Enough coal to where I can not feel bad using it. And a brick. And no window to throw it at. 
That would probably be a whole different type of game, too, wouldn't it? Let's pick all of that up. Well, most of that up. You don't need to see that menu yet. And we'll put the oil. Well, we'll put it all away, but... Looks like my timing was nigh perfect as the day is about to end. Probably should have saved that to make steel. This is how life goes, folks. A little bit there, there. Nails. I had some glass. I think it's down here. There we are. I do have some iron ingots. Or not iron ingots. Iron fragments. I'm trying to... I'm probably going to make them into ingots uh, rather than use them to reinforce that or to make... Um, good gravy. Uh, to make iron ingots. So, I'm oh, sorry. I will probably use them to make iron ingots so that I can make uh, mineral extractors and uh, get some copper going because I desperately need that. I want my helmet, dang it. Um, and that will be just so awesome once that happens. A little bit of domestic doings here. The good news is, even when the water's frozen, you don't, you won't completely die of thirst. Really? Ignoramus. You see what happens? You give me biofuel. Which means I am literally at some point going to smoke your ass. There we go. So that was a great trip to town. I'm going to get in here where it's a little bit lighter. Ooh, got all my bars. I am going to make another flask because, man, you can't have enough of those. Um, give me one second here. So cool. Not a huge amount of biofuel, but a little. We've got enough of everything to be what we need. Okay. get that going what time is it oh it is so late here that's probably a pitch black screen for you i am in fact one of the people that can sit and watch a fire for the rest of my life so hopefully you are too Fifty six must be coming into spring. That's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna stop where I use where I almost always start back here in what is now the house, what will probably be the beginnings of the kitchen. And uh, had a great time. Love going out there. Uh, glad to see that there was. Uh, we survived the blizzard despite not having anything prepared to do that. And I will see you next episode. Thank you for joining.